It might be a little ripe by the time you get home. <laughs> a little rank, whichever way. One of the many questions that we're frequently asked is about tires. Yes. People ask us what TPMS we run. We don't. Correct. We like to live dangerously. Mm. Uh, it may bite us in the ass at some point that we don't run one, but we just don't. I just watch the tire pressure and every time we stop, I check my tires. And I mean, that's kind of how you did it when you were running truck semi. So. It's got us this far. True. So, I mean, we'll see. Now, the other thing is people say, how often do you change your tires? Because it seems like the general rule on the internet is every five years. Right. Me, I look at the tire. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily say, oh, it's five years old, I got to change it. That's just me. Yeah. I don't think that just because the internet says so, that's what I need to do. Let's look at the date code of our tires because this is a 2020 Nexus Wraith, but mm -hmm. it's built on a 2019 chassis. Correct. Right here is a four digit code. That's going to be the date code 0618. So that's the sixth week of 2018. That's when these tires were made. I had liquid spring dumped, so it's just all the way down where they can't see the tread. Right. But looking at the sidewall, what I look for is cracking or dry rot. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything really. We'll go up to the steer tire to make it, uh, it's easier to see up here. I look between the tread and I look for dry rot or cracking there and I don't see any. However, I do intend to replace these tires with steer tires on the steer axle and drive tires on the drive axle. Nothing really wrong with these tires. They did perform better than I expected, but they're, they're all position tires. Mm -hmm. So they don't excel in any one thing. Right. But like you said, they have done better than you expected them to do. And I was surprised too, because we drive in all weather conditions. In rain, we've had very good traction. In I snow, agree. it's been pretty good traction. <laughs> there was one instance <laughs> in ice where we slid backwards in but, Gettysburg, but that's ice. That's ice. If there's ice on the road, get off the road. It's locking up and sliding. Look at that front tire not even moving. <laughs> yeah. We're dumb. Don't do what we do. <laughs> And everybody is so obsessed about RV tires, but they don't ever really seem to care about the tires on their passenger vehicles. Right. So let's see what the date code is like on my Jeep. The date code is somewhere right here. 3819, 38th week of 2019. Okay. And they look pretty good. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of tread there. So if these are five years old, should I change them? Hmm. <laughs> That's the question, the burning question. And I would say, no, these tires look absolutely fine, wonderful, great. And they perform well. One thing to consider is that, as you see, our vehicles are where? Garage. Inside. So, it, and that goes for the motorhome. Whenever we're not out traveling, it is inside the garage. So, if your vehicle is outside, you have to be more cautious about your tires. Put tire covers on them. Especially if you're like in Florida or Arizona or somewhere where it's like super, super sunny and hot. I'm not a tire expert. I don't pretend to be one, but I, my opinion, one of the worst things for tires is to let them sit. I agree. And not use them. Uh -huh. When travel trailers and fifth wheels and motorhomes just sit, like there's these storage lots around us. And they're just loaded with campers and they sit and they sit and they, and they sit like and they rot. Two trips out of the year or something like that. And then they get flat spots and it's like, oh, my that's, tires are junk. It's terrible, not just for the tires, but like for like a motorhome that has an engine and a transmission and an axle and it's terrible for it. Use yeah. it. Yes, if you have a camper of any kind, motorhome, vehicles, drive them, use them. We have arrived and we are at Van Buren State Park in Van Buren, Ohio. It's a pretty beautiful day today. It is. I think they said the high today was 91. 
and, and it's hot. Yeah, that's it's pretty warm and sunny. It's Ohio hot. Right. It is very nice and breezy. So hopefully we can keep the awning out, keep our little site here pretty shaded. You can see what our awning is shading is just the rest of our pad. The site here is pretty narrow, but hey, it is what it is. This was the last electric site. So our, our firing is actually behind the race. And who knows, we can probably share a campfire with those people. At this state park, they actually have a variety of electric and non-electric. This loop right here is called the family circle. And it's literally that, it's a circle. And most of these sites are set up for regular family camping. The other circle is an equestrian camping. And that's where we stayed when I got the race stuck in this video. <laughs> I done messed that up. Great. This is why I don't go places without you, Mikey. <sighs> so yeah, this was probably the worst decision that I made today. That was a lot of fun, but there's no snow this time. There's a variety of big shade trees and brand new little trees. Looks like they did some upgrading because last time we were here, these sites were not paved and the electrical boxes look like they got some upgrades too. Do you agree? Yeah, they did some work here. Yeah. I mean, this campground is so small, they don't even have like a check-in office or a store. Yeah. It's just a camp post right up at the front. Yep. <laughs> and she just kind of takes care of the entire place by himself. Yeah, it's, it's not a very big park. It's not like crazy popular, but that's one of the things we like about it is it's kind of quiet and smaller and we had no problem getting in here uh, for this weekend when I checked earlier today, so. And the thing is, there's nothing to do here. I mean, there's trails, there's a playground and stuff like that, but this isn't like a destination. Right. It's just, it's a, it's you're a here to chill. camp and that's it. Yeah, it's for chilling. Speaking of being in the middle of nowhere, we're gonna do our speed test that we always do, but we're gonna do something new. So at home, we have AT&T home internet. And we thought we'd try out T-Mobile's home internet. So at home, we've got two internet providers, but I have a router that you can plug in two internet sources and it uses both. Right. So what we did was we grabbed our T-Mobile. This is our T-Mobile home internet, it does Wi-Fi. Um, it's got some ethernet ports at the back. So you can see here, it says our connection is very good right now. Yeah, that's actually very nice to see on something you know it tells you right there yeah and they say that the home internet has a lower priority than like the cell phones so right. if it gets congested the speed on this will slow down but where we are we've never had good luck with cellular but i think our best luck so far between verizon at&t and t-mobile overall as we travel all over the country has been t-mobile Right. T-Mobile has been the clear winner. I put AT&T in second and Verizon, yeah, I, I put it in fourth. Even though there's no third, I put it in fourth. Yeah, you can see where his, uh, <laughs> yeah, I where he Verizon. lies. Yeah. I hate Verizon. So we're going to do some speed tests, including the home internet. Right. And see where we're at. AT&T, mm, not doing so hot. 27.5 download, 0 0.62 upload. Verizon. 19.8 download, 1.51 upload. T-Mobile cellular. Right, 115 download, 10 even upload. T-Mobile home internet. 70.6 download, 10.4 upload. We have uh, the Roku streaming TV for us using the home internet. Right. And then the dish receiver is up here and you can plug in ethernet you know, into the back of this, and you can do all your on-demand stuff through Dish. Right. Now, you're going to have the people that hate the fact that we have internet while we're camping. This is 2023. Right. There's also people that love and need the internet while they're camping. There's a lot of people who work while they're camping. And T-Mobile, if you're watching, feel free to sponsor us. Yeah. Feel free to uh, give us some free service. Because we are... <laughs> <laughs> we're paying... Because Lynn has a line with T-Mobile, $30 or 30 or $40 a month. I think it's 25 or 30. Regardless, it's cheap and there's no data cap. 
Correct. No and data cap. Since I switched to T-Mobile for my cell a couple years ago, I feel like, I don't know, but I love it. Yeah, we even have our micro air easy touch thermostat now yes. running through through this. Right. So when we're home, I'll just put this back in the house and plug it into our router so that we have two internet sources. But when we leave, it's coming with us. Right. If you couldn't tell, <laughs> we are making breakfast outside today. Yep. It's um, very beautiful and already pretty hot out. It's almost 80 degrees already, although we did sleep in. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to tell you what time it is, but we're making breakfast. The sun is pretty high in the sky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I really haven't done the uh, eggs on the griddle very much. There's a kettle. But, I mean, hey, you can do a lot of them at the same time, so... Mm, look at that bacon. We have decided to go on a hike because the dogs are crazy and have lots of energy. It's hot though, so it's gonna be a short one for them. Yeah, and luckily this park is perfect for short hikes. They have a decent amount, but a lot of them are fairly short and hopefully not very ticky. Oh, we didn't ask for air feet or anything. No, because we're stupid. We have the spray, we just, you know, don't use it. Of course. This may look like snow, but it is uh, cottonwood, cottonwood fluffs. Actually, it's not so bad in the, in the forest here. <laughs> the flies are kind of bad. Yeah, the flies are a little bad. Come on, guys. The dogs keep stopping every like Two, five three feet. feet. <laughs> yep, we're just, we just stopped again. <laughs> so much to see, so much to sniff. Lots of horse poo. Yeah, because these are horse trails slash yeah. hiking trails. So right. you gotta watch where you go. You gotta pick up after your dogs. Right. God forbid you don't do that. Right, I know. But you can leave all the giant horse pies behind. That's fine. Yeah. That's what nature intended. Watch out for the turds. <laughs> Last time we were on these trails, it was winter. And it was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not. Yeah, it was snowy, icy, and glorious. <laughs> If you're new here, we enjoy winter camping the most. And Una will always point out, we used to hate winter. Yes. I mean, hate winter. And that's because we didn't have fun with it. Right. We didn't have a camper that could go winter camping. Right. I mean, you can winter camp in any camper, but you may have to do it with it winterized. Yeah. Where and we don't do that. We like to be we're not fancy. winterized. We're fancy. We, we like our amenities that our RV provides. So that was the intent for us actually buying our current RV, our Nexus Race, is because then we could modify it to where we could easily and comfortably winter camp. And we've camped down to zero degrees. Yes, successfully with nary an issue, yeah. knock on wood. No freezing up or anything. So that really expanded our camping to every month of the year. Yeah, to where we don't have a season. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna say it was just the Wraith that allowed that. It really helps when you have a garage. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's insulated and it's heated and you park your RV in said garage and it's attached to our house. That's a very true statement. <laughs> so, Let's not forget about our awesome garage. <laughs> I'm not saying it's just because of the RV. No, you're, you're absolutely correct. We're a little spoiled on that aspect. and But we do want everyone to get what we have <laughs> because to enjoy it. It makes life so much more enjoyable. And don't think that we now dislike summer camping. We oh, do no. like it. Don't get me wrong. I like wearing shorts and sitting bikinis. up at a campfire and bikinis. I, I don't wear a bikini, but I do enjoy <laughs> looking at them. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, going swimming and stuff like that. It is very nice. So don't get us wrong. We enjoy all of the seasons, but winter is by far our favorite time to camp and hike. Kind of nice 
nice and shiny that Jeep is. Dang. But then the wraith, filthy. Dirty. Needs a bath. It does. One thing we wanted to make note of is this park is half dry. <laughs> there are no shower houses. All they have is this right here. Pit toilets. Pit toilets. And it is ripe today. But let's go in and see. Yep. This is pretty much it. But you do get a mirror, a, mirror, a changing station. I mean, they're not terrible. It doesn't smell too bad in here. Definitely better in the race, but in a pinch, it's not too bad. So if you are staying here and you don't have a shower in your RV or your tent camping, then it's going to be... Uh, not fun? Yeah, in the summer anyway. <laughs> you might be a little ripe by the time you get home. <laughs> a little rank, whichever way. Although you could use some fresh water in a, in a washcloth to kind of moisten yourself up and wipe yourself down. That's not too bad. Or some people use baby wipes, but I don't like that residue. It's like sticky. I am going to be making something new-ish for dinner tonight. I've kind of got it started a little bit right here and it is going to be corn dogs and you might think eh, that's not very exciting but I'm going to be making I I've corn dogged corn dogged the other things other than hot dogs before and I will be doing that with regular hot dogs here I've done this actually with uh, one of my brothers we corn dogged a bunch of things. I have my cornmeal batter here and I have my oil here in the pan. I just poured it in so it's just starting to get warmed up and I have some little skewers here with Guy's nose right there. He's very interested in the empty skewers which will be filled with probably half hot dogs because these skewers are quite small. It's the best <laughs> I could get. Oh, I don't blame you. Fine. It's all there was. So, but I mean, who doesn't love a good mini corn dog? Pretty delicious, in my opinion. So I have basically hot half, dogs, half on dogs. A, half dogs on a stick because they're kind of short, but I just wanted to make sure I could fit them all on there. So I'm going to coat the dogs. <laughs> mini corn dog. And this is exactly why I'm not doing it over the campfire because we decided that was completely a stupid idea. It's a fire hazard. <laughs> Definitely not the healthiest meal. I will give you that, but I bet you it's gonna taste pretty awesome. Look at that. It's like gorgeous. Yeah, it does look pretty good. It does look really good. Watch out for the stick. Tastes how a corn dog should taste. Really? Yeah. I mean, it looks like a corn dog. Mm. Oh, Piper says <laughs> it looks like a corn dog for sure. Corn dog is a win. We got a handful going. Got a handful to make. Look at how cute and delicious the thing looks. Cute little thing. Got me some mustard and ketchup. I'll do mustard first. That's really good. It is already time to pack up from this park and it just seemed like- a <laughs> Super quick weekend. So quick. Like, I don't know how anyone can, with all the stuff that I see everyone have, how it can be very relaxing because they spend most Friday unpacking and then all morning Sunday. Sunday, repacking Packing. all of the stuff. I guess that's kind of why we do the minimalist thing where we just have yeah. like one camp chair and it's two dog chains. It's all we put outside. Yeah. Sometimes guys' little dog bed, but we pick that up at every night. We put that stuff away. So yeah, I mean, it's everyone's uh, personal preference, I guess, but... It's a really good park for such a tiny little place. I agree and it was a nice weekend like the weather was beautiful it's a little breezy today but it's really not that bad anyways we will continue to use the t-mobile home internet on the road 
Yes. And we'll continue to report of how well it does or does not perform. Right. So far, I think on this trip, though, it did a pretty good job. It did. It did a very good job. So. I just did a speed test with it just now, and it had 93 down. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. So, like you said, we'll continue to update everyone. Maybe that's a good option for you guys. Never know. But I think we're going to get out of here and find another park. So, until next time, see ya. See ya. Fail. <laughs>